Good morning, everyone. Good afternoon. Good evening. Whenever you are watching this, Ms. Lauren here with our very last video. <laughs> oh my gosh. I can't believe that it's finally here. After this week, you will officially be kindergartners. <laughs> wow. Wow. You have all grown up so much while I've been here. That hasn't even been that long. I'm super impressed. I've had such a blast getting to know you all, and I'm so thankful I get to see y'all on Thursday to wish you well in person at our kind of drive through graduation. <laughs> so for today's video, I just wanted to read you a fun rhyming story about kids just like you and parents just like yours who are feeling a lot of feelings about kindergarten. <laughs> Alrighty. This is called The Night Before Kindergarten. was the night before kindergarten, and as they prepared, kids were excited and a little bit scared. They tossed and they turned about in their beds, while visions of school supplies danced in their heads. Erasers and crayons and pencils galore were stuffed in their backpacks and set by the door. Outfits were hung in the closets with care, knowing that kindergarten soon would be there. In the morning, it came. School starts today. Would the teacher be nice? Would they still get to play? Faces were washed and teeth were brushed white. Kids posed for pictures with eyes sparkling bright. Parents packed snacks and kids hopped in cars as if they were boarding a spaceship to Mars. Some kids brought blankets or their favorite stuffed bear in hopes they could nap like they did in daycare. Their parents exclaimed, you're big kids, wow. Let us hold your bears and blankies for now. The parents were worried their children would cry if they left them at school with just a goodbye. So they told their darlings, if you want, we can stay and make sure that everything will be a-okay. The teacher then greeted each one with a smile and invited the students to stay for a while. The room was all filled with toys, books, and maps. But where were the beds for mid-morning naps? They colored and painted and played Simon Says. They tumbled and skipped and stood on their heads. They sang silly songs from beginning to end. Within just a minute, each kid had a friend. The children were happy. They loved Miss Sunrise. It was she who was in for a giant surprise. When what to her wondering eyes should appear, but sad moms and dads who were holding back tears. Their noses so sniffly, their eyes red and wet. This was the saddest goodbye Miss Sunrise had seen yet. She gathered the grown-ups on the magical rug, then sent them away after one final hug. The children all waved from the door of the school. Don't cry, Mom and Dad. Kindergarten is cool. <laughs> the end. Oh, I hope you liked that story as much as I did. It kind of reminded me of the story of the night before Christmas, except it was about school. <laughs> And did you hear all those rhymes in there? Yeah, I did. Now, I know I was pretty nervous when I started kindergarten, but my experience was a lot like the kids in the book. It was fun, and I got to sing songs and do art and play, and I made new friends almost right away. Hey, that rhymed. <laughs> I got to learn even more exciting things than I did in pre-K, and I had a great teacher to guide me, and I know you will too. 
Remember, if you ever find yourself missing any of your pre-K teachers, you can always watch some of these videos and see our faces and hear our voices again. I know we're going to miss you a lot too. Okay, I'll see you all in Zoom and at our end of the year drive through graduation. And I hope you have a day and a summer that's as awesome as you are. Bye-bye.